Good morning. Today is Sunday, the 26th day of Tevis. And we're learning today the second half of chapter 16 in Tanya. And as yesterday was Shabbos, we will review a little bit of what he said in the first half of chapter 16. So we are still talking about the Bainini, which is the person, the ideal place where a Jew should be in as far as his service to Hashem, the person that is in full control of his thoughts, speech, and action. And we ended up in chapter 15 explaining that as it's not enough if you have if you're fully disciplined in these three areas of thought, speech, and action. It is also needed to have the love. You have to do it, go the extra mile. If you do it just because you're, it is um, only because this is became your nature or your second nature. And then it's not you're not and you're not working the the feelings the emotions. It is important to have the emotions to do it with love. <clears throat> and uh, the love is what is what makes the the mitzvahs that we do to reach the higher destination. It says. Torah, it says in the Zaya that when you study Torah, you do mitzvahs without the emotions of love and fear, <clears throat> it does not have wings to fly up high. Meaning that the mitzvahs that we do, the Torah that we do, when you do something with the feelings of love, it, it reaches higher places. And <clears throat> so it is so in the first half of the chapter 16, the Alter Rebbe discusses that there's the, there's the Bainani that he develops through his meditation, through his contemplation, and in, in, the, in Hashem, in God, in the mitzvahs, and the greatness of God, so on and so forth. He develops a feeling. And it, felt, it develops the feeling and it gets excited. But not everybody is capable of doing it. Sometimes you are trying, meditating, understanding, and you may get a, a, a deep understanding that this is the right thing to do. And you really get a conviction in the right thing after studying and thinking about the greatness of Hashem and so on. But sometimes it, it just doesn't transfer to the feelings of the heart. You're not going to get all excited and, and feeling in love when you do the mitzvah. Says the Alter Rebbe, really, it's not your fault. It is what's called, there is uh, the source of the neshama can come from a place which is called that is it was impregnant rather than being born. What does it mean? The, um, we explained in the previous lessons that the intellect are considered the parents to the emotions. The more the emotions are born out of the intellect. When you meditate about something and, and, and you get to understanding, it creates a feeling. But sometimes it is only get it gets to the point of get, being impregnant, but not really born into become a whole child, so to speak. And here, this is the we're talking about the higher levels and the spiritual levels in the source where he, the person's neshama comes from. So those people 
that it's hard for them to develop really a feelings of emotional feeling of attachment and understanding and appreciating God, it is not due to their fault. It is because the neshama it comes from a place which is not revealed in that feelings. And therefore, says the Alter Rebbe, it is okay. Hashem, God, will intervene and he will make this conviction that you have, although it's not developed in the feeling in the heart, and he will make it, this is considered a good, good enough that you, that you feel this, because you're doing your best and you feel the, in your mind, so to speak, even though it's not totally revealed in your heart, nevertheless, being that in your mind you feel it, you understand it, you have a conviction that this is the right thing, then Hashem will and connect it to the action that you do. So basically you will have the understanding, the conviction, and the action of the doing of the Torah and the mitzvahs. And thereby, well, the Rebbe goes to explain a very interesting uh, and uh, known statement that our sages say. It says that when a, per God, when a person wants to do a good thing, HaKadosh Baruch Hu God considers it as if it, it's done. And but however, the wording that our sages use is rather strange. It doesn't say that Hashem considers it done. It says that Hashem joins the thoughts into action, which is a rather strange choice of words, and Alter Rebbe is going to explain what that means. That Hashem, the, what we are saying now, that the feelings, that the, the understanding that we have in our mind, Hashem joins to the action the, of the mitzvahs that we do. So let's look inside. Our sages of blessed memory hinted this principle that we just said. What that the Tevuna love, what is Tevuna love? Tevuna love is that love that is an intellectual love, meaning. It is the love of Hashem that is the conviction that you have in, in your mind, but it did not get to the point to really develop into an open emotional feelings. That, that we call, Dalta we call, Dalta Rebbe calls it Tevuna. That's a Tevuna love. So when a person has this Tevuna love, this understanding and deep conviction in the right thing, and and even and it does not is not able to develop into open revealed emotions. Nevertheless, it has the power of elevating one's teira and mitzvahs. And this is hinted in the statement that our sages say. And they said that the Holy One, blessed be He, joins good a good thought to the deed. And the Alter Rebbe asks, normally, what is the understanding of this statement? Is that, let's say, a person wanted to go and uh, so you, see, you see a hungry per person and you want to go and feed him, for example. And you come over and right before you come over, somebody else gave him a sandwich. Okay, so the action was done already. But you had a thought of doing the good deed. So Hashem considers it as if you're done. That's the normal understanding of this statement. Whatever you do, even if you have a good thought, Hashem consider, considers it as if it's done. But if that is, the, that is the meaning of this statement, the wording should be a little bit different. And should have said, Male olav ke'ilu asa. It should say 
that the Torah considers him as though he has actually done it. The way the wording is that Hashem, blessed be he, joins a good deed, I'm sorry, joins a good thought to the deed, that he combines the, the thought and the deed. What does that mean? So here the Alter Rebbe is going to explain the concept that we just explained. That you have, you have the thought and you have the action, but you're lacking the revealed emotions because you're not able to develop an emotions through your actions, when, through your thoughts, through your meditation. But you do understand, you have a conviction and that is the right thing, Hashem is the right thing and I should, I should love Hashem. But it doesn't develop into a love. But because you understand that this is the right thing, you are going ahead and you're doing the right things. You're doing the mitzvahs. You're following the Torah. You study the Torah. You, you're kind to others. You're doing all the good things. But you're lacking that revealed emotion. This is where God steps in and he joins the good thought and the action. As if as you have done something with full emotion as well, even though that emo emo revealed emotion is lacking. That's what Alter Rebbe says here. Inyan, let's see it inside the explanation, however, lies in the previously mentioned principle. It is the revealed fear and love of God in the heart that vest themselves. That vest themselves in one's performance of the commandments, giving them vitality to soar on high. When you go, when you're doing the mitzvah with the emotions. That makes the mitzvah go up high, to the higher levels. Because the heart has the blood in it, and this is the heart is, is like the intermediary between the, between the spiritual world and the physical world. And being that the heart is also physical and has the blood in it, it has the emotion, it has the soul in it, and therefore, being that he's a little physical, like the rest of the organs, which are the instrument of action, and the heart is, however, internal and is the um, and is the organ's source of vitality. Therefore, because the heart is in it, is in its uh, corpor corporality is close to the other organs and also provides the vitality. That's why the heart is able to close itself into the organs and to elevate them and to become as their wings to be able to, to elevate them. And that is the ideal thing. The way if a person is able to develop these feelings in his heart, then the heart will be the one to, that will elevate and, and be served as wings for the actions. Because it's not the same when you're doing something with love, even if uh, the regular mundane things. Some, you can see sometimes some people speak dry and some when you speak with passion, it's different. You see the words are different. It's not the same, it has life to it. Same thing is with action. So here, that when a person is lacking, however, when you're talking about this benani that has the fear and, and love in his mind, the above mentioned fear and love that are in the intelligence of the brain, and in the recesses of the heart, and it, that we mentioned earlier, and it's called Islam. He says this, the problem there is Though they are far higher, they are of a far higher order than the level of action. 
they, they are connected with the spiritual world, the thinking, the understanding, but it's not connected with the action. And therefore, they cannot clothe themselves in the performance of the commandments to become their intellectual power and vitality to elevate them so that they may soar on high. They can't do it. What do you do? What does a person like this do that is not able to develop these feelings in his heart and therefore cannot elevate? There, this is where God himself steps in. And it says, If not for the fact that God joins and unites, unites them together with the action, so that they may serve as its wings. So even if the person does not develop it, being that he's doing everything in his thought and is doing everything in, his, in what is in his ability to think and develop, understanding and conviction that this is the right thing. There, Hashem joins these thoughts to the action and may, helps it to, to soar up high. They, who is they? The Tevuna love, the Tevuna fear and the Tevuna love, the, under, the, the intellectual love. Think that you understand and, and you, you have a conviction in that. They are called the good thought. For they are not actual fear and love in a revealed state in, a, in the heart. But only in the intel, intelligence of the brain and the recesses of the heart as mentioned above. And here in the note, the Alter Rebbe brings in Kabbalistic terms that this concept of the Tevuna love, the intellectual love, so to speak. He says in the Zoya, talks that this is the same thing also in the higher worlds. As it says in the Zoya and the Itzchayim, the Tevuna, the word Tevuna, Tevuna means intellect, but has in it ben, the letters of Bain and Bas. Oisius Bain and Bas, son and daughter. Shehein dechilu urechilu. The son and the daughter are referred to as the, 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 the fear and the love are referred to as the son and the daughter. Son is connected with love, daughter is connected with fear. And sometimes this tevuna goes straight down into the nukva, they come moichin, the intellect for nukva. What is nukva? Nukva is the feminine part, which is refers to as the malchus. Nukva is the rampin of the small face. What does it mean? There is the ten spheres, the ten attributes. The ten attributes has three intellectual attributes and seven emotional attributes. The seven emotional attributes is divided into za and nukva. The ze rampin, the small face, is the the six uh, emotional attributes, and nukva is malchus. Malchus is the kingdom, kingdom, and this is the feminine, this is speech, this is what gives birth to the next world, and it's connected with action. So sometimes, says the Zoya, that the Tvuna goes straight into the action and bypasses the emotions. These are the letters of the Tera and the Bitzvahs. The Maskil Yovin and the intellectual shall understand, meaning the Kabbalistic reference contained in the note will be more fully elucidated in the course of uh, further study. Continues, let's, so the Altarebbe continues. Going back to the subject that this joining of the mitzvahs, of the, the thought to the action, God affects this joining of the tevuna, the intellectual love, to action. In order to elevate the performance of the commandments and the Torah study, 
which are carried out through the influence of the good thoughts, meaning the tevuna, and his keres le'ein that we mentioned above, ad oilam haberia. It elevates us until the world of beria. There is the four worlds: the world of Atzilus, world of emanation, the world of beria. If creation is considered the world of the intellect, then there's the uh, the third world is the world of yetzira. Is considered the world of emotions. And the lowest world is the world of action. So, we, so this uh, joining Hashem, when Hashem joins the Tevuna to the action, it elevates the action to the world of Beria, the world of the intellect. That this is the world of Beria being the level of, to which ascends the performance of Teira Mitzvahs the mitzvahs, when, when they are motivated by a fear and love deriving from one's meditation. Which are truly revealed in one's heart. So in other words, when there's a love that is, comes from as a result of the meditation in godliness, and it is an open revealed love, this is the power, this is the energy that elevates and serves as wings to elevate to the world of Berea, the world of intellect. However, he says, even without this joining, they still rise to the world of Yetzirah when you do the mitzvahs with a natural love. This is the different type of love. This is the love that is developed, comes as a result of the in intellectual understanding that is considered a higher level of love. And that elevates the mitzvahs to the world of Bria. But, we, but the, mitz, the term mitzvahs are also elevated to the world of Yetzirah when it's done through a natural love. The natural love is a natural love in, in every person. That also can be concealed and hidden. You need to reveal that natural love. But when you have that natural love and you do, and this natural love motivates you to do the Torah mitzvahs, then it elevates it only to the world of Yetzirah, as will be explained later in Lent. So, so what we take from this lesson is that no matter what, even if a person thinks that he cannot uh, do, uh, get himself to uh, get excited about the, the Torah mitzvahs, get inspired, sometimes you're doing, and you don't feel the inspiration. If, as long as you put in your effort, Hashem joins your effort and the understanding that you, that you put in, and you're doing the mitzvahs with the action, and it, it, that itself is considered as if you actually were doing it with a feeling of love. And this is the end of today's share. Thank you for joining. And feel free to share, to subscribe, subscribe, to like, to dislike, to comment. And um, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Any questions?